OPOA video number six. I think this is video number five. We're one away from finishing this case. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming by, checking out my shrippums. I don't waste time showing all the cards in a pack. I just show the last card in a pack. And if you wanna watch my case opening videos, you just see all the hits. But in these boxes, I'm gonna show all the last cards briefly and when we pull good cards, I'll show those cards. But in the last video, I was talking about uh, making one, making content. Actually, that's what all these videos have been about. Every, every OPO8 uh, lesson video that you've seen on this channel has been a video of me talking about uh, making YouTube content because I feel like maybe it would be helpful if you're an aspiring YouTube content creator to know some tips and tricks. Oh, come on, chopper, 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 chopper. Yes. That's it. Now I got all the alt art leaders from this set. I can rest easily, finally. And I think a lot of these boxes actually are gonna be triple hit boxes. We still have an SP, so we have a 25% chance of pulling an SP in this box also, which is lift. But I think I covered the majority of what I wanted to talk about. And I still have a box, two to four boxes left, so we might pivot. But um, yeah, I think, you know, figuring out a formula, being able to be consistent with your content, doing it so it doesn't take like a ton of work and doing what you like doing, right? I really enjoy shripping packs. That's my favorite thing to do. I do also enjoy playing the game. I do like uh, building decks, all that stuff. So occasionally I do deck builders look like Black Maria. Black Maria, yes. Yes, what an insanely great box. I gotta show this off a little bit. Black Maria looks great. It's just such a good looking card. And it's so strong for no reason. It, it is, this, this card is unreasonable. I, I, am, I am happy to say that. There's no reason that card needed to be so strong. Why it has 2K, I do not know. That, that card is not a 2K counter. There's no reason that should have 2K counter. And it should also rest itself when it does its effect because then you can just do that every single turn. And unless you have a way to remove it, that card is just gonna stick there and people are just gonna get five Dawn for no reason in decks that benefit greatly from removing their Dawn. It is, it is a crazy card. A crazy and insane card, I must say. Sorry, Dong. Um, but yeah, it's really, the, the main thing is make sure you like doing it. Don't ever do something because you think people are gonna like it. Don't do something because you think it's the right thing to do. There's our third hit. Don't do it because like, you know, for some other reason other than like, I like doing this thing. This is what I wanna do, so I'm gonna do it. That's how content should be. Because if you don't do that, I think it gets very, 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 very draining, very fast. Um, I've been doing it for a few years. I do it alongside many other things. I have a card company, Kaizo Cards, which this is not a real time, I should show up a Kaizo Card. This is a card I made from KaizoCards.com. It uh, really helps the channel if you wanna go check out some cards. These are the cards I showed off in the last couple videos, actually, and I'll just show them all off. This is a red, purple Luffy leader that I made. And this is a uh, Luchi manga face leader, Luchi character leader. This is a black yellow Luffy is my favorite leader to play right now. And also, you know, if you ever want to look up the artist, the artist's name is printed on the card, so you can go follow them on Instagram, check out their art. There's uh, Kevin Minez, an amazing artist. But yeah, KazukaCards.com, check it out. It helps me keep shrippaming. So if you enjoy, if you enjoy shrippums, check out Kazuka Cards. Uh, and I'm, I'm thinking about selling some sealed product on there. I don't know if you guys are interested in that. Maybe getting a, you know, a signed uh, one piece booster box by Joku DMD might be something that you want. I would be, I would be happy to do that because I gotta pay for this new studio, basically. Bless them. I haven't had really many good blessings in this set. I'll, I'll be honest, I have not been that hyped about this set. This has been, the only card I'm hyped about is Treasure Rare Luffy. I'm two for two on cases right now for Treasure Rare Luffy, so that suggests to me that it's probably a similar drop rate as the Treasure Rare Law, because it's already, I just checked this morning, and this is, to remind you, this is like pre-release weekend that I'm making these videos, and it's already at 60 bucks, so I think this whole set is gonna be pretty affordable. I think the only cards that are gonna be like, 
really expensive are, oh, I haven't pulled this yet. That's the Alt Art Secret Rare. And this is cool because this is taken from a uh, animation clip, which I don't know if they've done that with other cards yet. I don't know if there's been other arts that are uh, animation clip, but it shows like the producer and uh, TV animation, one piece, key animation, Katsumi Ishizuka, and uh, art director, and art director Takashi Yoshiko, looks like. I don't know, but it's cool. It's cool that they're like taking anime clips and putting them on cards. I think that's a very rad thing to do. Um, I also think we're like due for another SP. I think we've pulled three liters so far in this case. So there should be one liter left and there's one SP that we haven't pulled as well. There's our secret. So there could be one more thing in this box. There also could not because there's a lot of one hit boxes and we just pulled a three hit box. I don't remember how many three hit boxes we've pulled total so far. But this is, I have to say, this is outside of Treasure Rare Luffy, this is probably the most underwhelming set of One Piece, in my opinion. And I, you know, I bought, I bought as much as I usually do, so I have a lot of it, but I just open cards and play with them. I don't really sell cards that much other than my custom cards. And I guess I am going to try and sell some sealed products coming up if it's something people would be interested in. But I think this set's going to tank, sort of. I, it's just my opinion. I don't know. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope every set skyrockets. But then I also want it to be accessible. Here's what it looks like. Calgara. Yeah, Calgara. So Calgara and Chopper, King, and Carrot is what we saw in this. Oh, wait. that's Those are our hits. Three at box. Nice. All right. So the SP is going to be in the next video for sure. I'm a dentist, I can't have a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be find a dentist that you trust. You know, going to a dentist is kind of like going to a car mechanic. You don't know what's going on. You just kind of have to believe what they say. So find somebody that you feel comfortable with, that you trust, you like the quality of their work. And um, you know, sometimes you feel like you want to get a second opinion, get a second opinion. DM me, I'm happy to give you my thoughts. Thanks for coming by and I'll see y'all in the next one.